I'd like to begin by asking each of you to describe your institution and the role essays and interviews play as part of the application process. Murphy. First off, thank you so much for having me. Really excited to be here. Um, so again, I work for the George Washington University. Uh, we are a mid-sized research university in the heart of Washington, DC. We absolutely use our location to enrich the academic, social, and professional experiences for our students. That's what we're all about. Uh, we call it knowledge in action, so learning outside the classroom and really taking advantage of Washington, DC as our learning laboratory. Um, so that's really at the heart of what we're trying to facilitate on campus. We have over 70 different majors across our seven different schools and colleges, so something for everyone, whether you're interested in political science or international affairs or science and engineering, um, you'd be hard pressed not to find it on our campus. And we are very residential, despite the fact that we're an urban institution. So 75% of our students do live on campus, and we're ranked number one in the US for internships, which we're very proud of. Um, as it relates to the application process and writing essays and interviews, um, I'll start off by saying that we have, obviously, our common application application um, and essay. So we are a common application exclusive institution, as, as some institutions are. And so in that, you'll write a personal statement. Um, and that will really be sort of the meat and potatoes of your application. It's a great opportunity for you to express yourself, um, to talk about something that may have happened in your life that has inspired you. There are a number of different prompts that you can choose from, um, but, but truly it, it's sort of the, the heart of your admissions application again. We'll also have our GW Supplemental Essay, uh, which is a great opportunity for our students to make connections between themselves as an individual and a scholar and our institution and the unique identity that we offer um, as, as a school. Um, so there are two sort of uh, essays for GW specifically. Both are very important and a great way, again, to kind of um, demonstrate who you are as an individual and add that personal touch to your application, aside from what we'll see in terms of you know, your transcript and, and standardized test scores should you choose to submit them. Um, I will note that for GW, we don't require interviews. Um, so that's not a required part of the, the process. And in fact, um, we, we're moving towards not offering them as part of an evaluative process. That being said, if you want to connect with your regional admission representative, we absolutely encourage you to do so. We think it's really important to form that relationship with someone who is an expert of the region from which you come. Um, so certainly reach out and connect with them. Have a more casual conversation that provides you an opportunity to ask questions and really see if GW is a good fit for you. Um, but it won't be an evaluative interview that will kind of go into the review of your application. So that's a little bit about GW, our essays, and sort of our approach to, to interviews. Thank you, Murphy. Very, very interesting. Let's turn to Susan. Hi, everyone. Also, thank you so much for this opportunity. I do wish I could be in all of your countries, but I'm here in Chicago, which is a great city. So Columbia College Chicago is a four-year creative arts and media institution. We specialize in programs in the performing, visual, digital, and communication arts. Um, we are very centrally located. Uh, for those of you who've been to Chicago, we are right downtown, about three blocks south of the Art Museum. So it's a great location. Um, we are also a mid-sized institution. We have about 7,000. 300 or so students right now, and about 370 international students. So we're about 4.4% international. Um, with Columbia College Chicago, because we are a creative arts institution, we do offer Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Bachelor of Music degrees, and we have a very specialized graduate program as well. Um, when we look at an application, we want to find out who, we want to know who you are as a person. We will spend a lot of time looking at the essay and we will spend um, time, of course, reading through letters of recommendation and looking at your transcripts as well. Um, similar to GW, we do not require interviews, though after you have been admitted to the college, to Columbia College Chicago, the various departments may reach out to you to request work samples. Um, because we are a creative arts institution, we, we do recommend that students submit portfolios. Um, Portfolio requirements are different uh, and they are very specific to the major that you're going to be studying in. For example, a portfolio in music is going to be very, very different from a portfolio in graphic design. Um, all portfolio requirements are on the website. I can definitely address them later. Um, 
So that's about it. We're actually looking at the essay to kind of round out, um, round out the applicant because there's so much more to being successful than just being a good student, um, academically good student. We want to see who you are as a person. So that's Columbia College Chicago. Thank you, Susan. Very interesting. Uh, let's mm -hmm. turn to Karen in North Carolina. Hello, everyone. I'm very excited to be with you today. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about Appalachian State University. Um, we are a medium to large university located in the town of Boone, North Carolina. Um, we have about 18,000 students altogether, primarily undergraduate, about uh, 15,000 undergrad and the rest graduate. Um, we have a combination of 140 uh, bachelor's and master's degrees that we offer. Um, we are a public university and our location is really a, a unique and beautiful one. Um, we're in the very western part of North Carolina, about a thousand meters up in the mountains. Um, so if you like the mountains um, and are looking for a smaller university town setting, then uh, this might be a, a, a great place. Um, as far as the admissions process goes, um, we do not require essays, but we highly encourage them. Um, and when universities don't require, but they offer essays, um, or then it's always a great idea to do them. So in our case, they are highly encouraged. And this is a great way for us to get to know you. Um, we don't require interviews. Um, they, are not, um, they are not a part of the application process. Um, so we really look at the essay as our chance to get to know our applicants. We want to know about your background, your experiences, what great qualities you would bring to our campus. Um, so it's, it's really your chance to let us know about you. Make it personal about your goals, your dreams, your backgrounds um, and this is something that we will that we really do pay attention to um, and, and it's a change in the past um, you know a few years ago I think this was not something that we heavily relied upon um, but for the past few years we do look very carefully at the essay and it makes a large difference in the application itself.